thank you for giving us opportunity to uh, present our study at this meeting. Uh, in this study, we have evaluated plasma CXCL16 levels before and after minimally invasive colorectal cancer uh, 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 for cancer indication. So um, our previous um, urine research uh, data suggests that surgical stress uh, stimulate uh, tumor growth and uh, tumor establishment. And by human perioperative uh, plasma analysis, uh, we have demonstrated that significant increase of many angiogenic proteins, including uh, VEGF and angiopoietin 2, in postoperative blood for three to four weeks after minimally invasive colorectal resection. We have also demonstrated that second and third week uh, postoperative plasma significantly stimulate in vitro endothelial cell growth, migration, and invasion, which are critical for neoangiogenesis process. Just to summarize our previous angiogenic protein analysis data, angiogenic protein VEGF remained significantly elevated for three weeks after minimally invasive colorectal resection. As you see here in this slide, the, the range of increase was 66 to 120% from the baseline or from the respective uh, pre-op levels. CXCL16 is a transmembrane uh, chemokine, a transmembrane protein that expresses on many tissues, including leukocytes and endothelial cells. And its, it's a receptor, CXCR6, expresses on uh, cells, those that accumulate at uh, inflammatory sites. And CXCL16 and CXCR6 uh, ligand receptor pair links with uh, endothelial precursor cell recruitment and angiogenesis process in uh, response to uh, inflammatory stimuli. And it has been demonstrated that CXCL16 uh, significantly stimulate endothelial cell uh, invasion, uh, proliferation, and chemotaxis uh, in vivo. CXCL16 also uh, support another a process called EMT, epithelial mesenchymal transition, that helps tumor cells to release into the circulation and then extravasate into distant tissues to form metastasis. Uh, Overexpression of uh, CXCL16 has been demonstrated in many cancers, including uh, colorectal cancer. The purpose of this uh, study was to evaluate uh, plasma CXCL16 levels uh, before and after minimally invasive colorectal resection for adenocarcinoma condition. So we hypothesized that uh, minimally invasive colorectal resection may increase uh, plasma CXCL16 levels indirectly due to surgery associated inflammation. 86 patients were enrolled into this study. Majority, that is 32%, had a right to resection, whereas 27% of the group had LAR OAR resection. Majority of the group, that is 63%, had a laparoscopic procedure, whereas 37% had hand-assisted procedure. Uh, samples were collected, uh, processed, and stored at minus 80 in Alcott form until we uh, conducted the study. And also, some uh, samples were collected preoperatively, POD1, POD3, from all patients. And third and fourth, late samples uh, were also collected between POD7 and 34 during their follow-up visits. Since we could not collect those late samples from all patients, we bundled late samples into seven-day time blocks and considered as POD7 to 13, 14 to 20, 21 to 27, and 28 to 34 in this study, which you will see in next slide. Uh, plasma CXCL16 concentrations were determined in duplicate uh, using commercially available ELISA kits, and data was analyzed by nonparametric uh, Wilcoxone T test. Uh, as you see here in this slide, this data clearly shows that significant increase of plasma CXCL16 levels for four weeks after surgery, and the range of increase was 20 to 40 percent from the baseline value or from the respective pre-op levels at each time point. So this data led us to conclude that uh, minimally invasive colorectal resection is associated with a significant increase of CXCL16 levels for four weeks after surgery. An early post-op increase could be due to a short-lived uh, surgery-related acute inflammatory response. And C however, CXCL16 decreased increase during the later period uh, could be uh, due to surgical wounds or and uh, healing related process. So just to confirm our second conclusion, we have conducted another study. 
The purpose of this study was to assess CXCL16 levels in plasma and wound fluid collected uh, from patients who underwent a minimally invasive colorectal resection for cancer indication. We hypothesized that elevated uh, level of CXCL16 in plasma uh, could be due to CXCL16 activity associated with wound healing related process. So in, uh, for this study, we have enrolled 23 patients and majority of the patient, 48% had LAR or AR resection, whereas 28% had APR resection. 57% of the group had laparoscopic procedure, whereas 43% of the group had hand-assisted procedure. Blood samples and wound samples were collected simultaneously, processed and stored at minus 80 in aliquot form until we conducted the study. And wound fluid samples were collected uh, from Jackson pad drains. Samples were collected preoperatively POD1 and POD3, like in the previous study. And fourth, late samples was also collected between POD7 and 14 uh, during their hospital stay. Uh, plasma and wound fluid CXCL16 concentrations were determined in duplicate using a commercially available ELASA kits. And uh, data was finally analyzed by Mann Man and Whitney or Wilcoxon non parapentric T-test. So as you see here in this slide, this data clearly shows that significant increase of CXCL16 levels in plasma as well as in wound fluid. However, wound fluid CXCL16 concentrations were at least three to 10 times higher than that of plasma levels. I have depicted plasma levels in green bars here and wound fluid uh, CXCL16 levels in purple bars. You will see here, uh, I, we saw the similar, uh, the increase, significant increase in the plasma as well as of course, uh, in wound fluid. So finally, this data led us to conclude that uh, minimally invasive colorectal resection is associated with a significant increase of uh, wound fluid and plasma CXCL16 levels for three to four weeks after the surgery. Uh, the source of added CXCL16 could be surgical wounds and persistently elevated uh, plasma CXCL16 uh, levels may promote angiogenesis uh, specifically wound tissues, as well as uh, may support uh, the growth of residual cancer that's supported by uh, angiogenic factors. This one and the one that we have uh, already uh, found out before. Uh, that's what uh, we think. An anti-cancer treatment uh, during the first month after resection could be useful, and larger study, of course, needed to validate this finding. Thank you.